Hey guys, good afternoon. It's uh, Angelo Christian Financial. Thank you so much for watching Real Estate Insider, our podcast, Where America Goes for Funding, your financial source, your hub for real estate. Uh, today we're talking about a very, very important topic during COVID. Uh, one of the biggest questions has come up. Um, what about if you're trying to buy a house or you're trying to get a loan, you lost your job during the process? What do you do, Angelo? Um, because I've had this question posed to me about literally, I kid you not, probably about 90,000 times. And I thought it was now was the time uh, to make a video about it. Because what if you're going through uh, a loan process, you're trying to buy a home and you get the red tape, you know, from your employer saying that you lost your job. You know, you get the pink slip. Remember the old pink slip in the movies? And they talk about, oh, I'm sorry, you lost your job. I've seen it happen a lot in the last year because of COVID. And, um, you know, I want to talk and say that my heart goes out to you. If you did lose your job, I feel very bad uh, if that happened to you. And all I can say is don't give up. Just hang in there. And yeah, I'm sure that you'll get the skills or, you know, as the market picks back up to get your job back. Um, but the bigger thing is that if you are trying to buy a house, or you're trying to get a loan and you've lost your job, there are some important things to know so you can be prepared, so you can be ready, so you can get approved for your home loan. So. The biggest thing is if you lost your job because of COVID, you're all, you had unemployment, the underwriters, the market, the lenders, they understand this and that's okay. It's okay if you're out of work, we understand now. It's okay if you had unemployment, but the thing is you have to be back to work or at least have some type of offer letter from a new employer uh, to get some type of compensation because you can't be having no income and buy a house unless you're doing a no-doc or private loan. So assuming that you're doing a conventional or government loan, you're going to have to have some type of income coming in. Uh, if you're not on a fixed income, so you're going to have to have you know employment income. So if if that's the case and you did lose your job during the loan process, or you're thinking about buying a house and you lost your job, the biggest thing to know is that you're going to have to be back to work. And a lot of I had this call yesterday. It was actually it was crazy. Um, somebody from another lender was denied for a home loan because they hadn't been with their new company uh, after COVID for two years. And I was like, whoa, they denied you because you haven't been with the current company for two years? Like, yeah, the lender denied me. I lost my job from COVID, went back to work, been there for six months, and the lender said, hey, I can't approve you because you haven't been in your new company for two years. It's like, wow, that's insane to me. Because with us, you, you, I mean, you just have to have an offer letter from a new company and uh, you're good to go. Now, there are some rules and caveats to that. So the first thing is that this is assuming that you're already a W-2 employee. So you couldn't be W-2 to now become self-employed or W-2 to now become commission only because you're going to have to have a, a history of ideally two years if you, are, if you just became self-employed or just became uh, commission only. This is assuming that you stayed W-2. If you were 1099 previously and you're still 1099, as long as you have the two-year history, you're okay. But if you just lost your job because of COVID, let's say you're a school teacher and then a new school has picked you up and you have an offer letter from the new school, we can give you credit for that income from the on that you have on the offer letter. So let's say that the offer letter says you're going to start October 1st, 2021. We can use that. We're fine with that. And sometimes we just need you to have to be back to work like through one pay cycle and show us one pay stub and we'll give you credit for that income. So it's okay that if you did lose your job during the process, just find another employer, get an offer letter. You might have to produce one or two pay stubs. And provided that the composition of your pay hasn't changed, if you're always on a salary, you're still on salary, you should be fine. But where it gets hairy is that if you were W-2 tonight, you're 1099, that's going to be an issue where you're going to have to have that history of at least two years before you can use that income. So don't give up. Don't lose hope. You can still get a house. At least with us, I can't say for every lender. Apparently, there's lenders out there that require you to have two years on the same job, which I think is pretty hard to do sometimes, especially during COVID when employers are reshuffling things. Thankfully for my company, we didn't lay anybody off because of COVID, and I'm proud of that. Uh, but there are some employers that did do layoffs, massive layoffs, um, because of the heat and the pressure. And uh, all I can say is that, you know, find another job, get us an offer letter, and then start working for that job as soon as possible. Uh, and then you can get credit for that income. Okay. Just, just keep in mind that the composition of the pay can or should not change. And if it has changed, that could affect uh, the qualification alone. But I did want to shed some light on this because we get this question asked all the time and people are scared 
are reluctant to apply for a loan because they lost their job and they think in their head that they have to be two years on the current job. And, and I know there's a stigma out there that says that, but it's just not true. So you can be back to work 30 days as long as it's the same industry, same type of pay, and you can use that pay. So please don't be bashful. Reach out to us. Call or text us at the number above, the 832 Four three one six three three one. My name is Angelo Christian. I've been serving America for nearly 20 years. We want to be your commercial residential lender, or you can click on that link in the YouTube description to get signed up to get pre-approved. If you know anyone that's trying to get funding for a loan, share this mission with them. So, you know, forward over the video. We really appreciate you guys for watching the channel. Remember, we do a YouTube live every Thursday, 7 p.m. Central. You can talk with Angelo, win free prizes. Thank you guys for all your support. We really appreciate you and check out my next video. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.